there it is in all its glory. The 3D Titan mount for the ANET A6. The drawing is complete. And I'm printing it as we speak. I'm printing this in PETG and I just hate the way PETG prints but it's strong so that's what I'm using. I'm just gonna have a lot of cleanup to do on it. Um, this is the main carriage part. There's a few other components the bracket for the motor is different and then there's a mount which I already printed there's a mount for the uh, BL touch there's the nozzle which I'm not sure it's gonna fit yet I'll have to try it out on the fan I might have to uh, adjust the drawing a little bit I'm excited This stuff just came in the mail today. This is the little pancake motor. This is the uh, 3D Touch. It's actually a, it's actually a bootleg, bootleg 3D Touch clone. It says, based on Ant, Ant C Labs touch. That's funny. Hope it works. It was cheap. It was uh, $16 compared to, what, $52 or $60 bucks for, the, for the real deal. And they give you a bunch of... Give you some pin connectors here, resistors. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Some screws, mounting screws. Good deal. Not sure if this is the instructions. Well, yes, yes it is. I guess it gives you uh, how to set up Marlin and the voltages how to connect it but this is just some of the instructions for the ANET A6 I'm gonna have to look those up but somebody figured out how to do it I guess you gotta steal this 3.3 volt lot logic from uh, from one of the wires that goes to the L LCD screen Ooh, we got magnetic flux density I'm sure that's relevant we'll have to figure that out Here's the pancake motor. This is the little thumb screw adjuster. My uh, Titan clone didn't have the adjuster knob for the tension. It had a, a screw. Yeah, if you can see right in there, it's just a Allen head screw. So this actually goes, takes that the place of that so you can adjust the tension. Here's, the, here's a, a regular size motor. Here's the pancake motor. Look at the difference. At some point, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna weigh the difference in the entire ANET original setup on the A6. You know, with the carriage and the motor and and all that, compared to this mounted on on my new carriage. I'm actually gonna break out the digital scale and weigh these up and compare them. It also came with a heat sink. I'm I'm guessing it's for the motor. I guess maybe this motor gets hot. We'll probably use that. It doesn't weigh much. You can see it's just loaded with holes. Look how much look how much smaller that is. I guess I'll have to decode these wires. And also, I'm going to have to change my uh, my steps per uh, per millimeter. 
because this is a three to one reduction. So I believe this is like 400 steps now. Oh, I'm not even sure, maybe it's 90 steps. Anyway, pretty exciting stuff. So I appreciate you following me along with my uh, E3D Titan extruder project. It's a fun project. Turned out to be a lot of work, especially making this carriage mount. I hope you guys stick around for part three, and there's probably going to be a part four. This uh, Titan extruder project enta entails a lot of things. It entails the, um, the carriage, the new E3D Titan extruder. There's the BL Touch. There's going to be a lot of work in... Um, I'm using Skynet 2.3.2, and I think a new one just came out, 2.4.5. Skynet 2.4.5 for uh, auto bed leveling. I may set up that firmware in my computer. So all this is going to be part of this this deal, this uh, this series. It's really a series because uh, I'm not sure how many parts it's going to be. But stick around. You know, I don't want to make these segments too long. I want to make them probably, you know, five to ten minutes long. Some of them might go a little longer, especially when I get into the Skynet firmware. That might be a longer video for all the setup because there's quite a few things to set up. If you guys have any questions or comments, put them down in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Give me a thumbs down if you thought it sucked. Subscribe if you like what I'm doing and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.